city of Raleigh is taking new steps to bridge the gap between police and the community, a move brought on by a deadly officer-involved shooting. Akiel Dankins was killed back in February after police said he got into a struggle with an officer. Dankins' family said the shooting was unnecessary. The DA's office ultimately decided against charging the officer. Our David Grzbowski has more on the city's efforts to heal old wounds and shows us what the community has to say about it. Nearly 10 months after 24-year-old Akiel Dankins was shot and killed by a Raleigh police officer, the healing continues. Mayor Nancy McFarland promised to continue building relationships between city leaders, law enforcement, and community members. Today, she announced the details of a series of meetings, calling them a safe place for open and honest conversations. Through these conversations, we hope to bring to light many of the challenges that face our community. This includes the community relationship with the Raleigh Police Department and other city departments. A community activist we spoke with says it's time to bring policing to the forefront. But what I have seen is a community coming together uh, behind this tragic event, um, but also getting behind, you know, just the understanding that there's a bigger problem out here and we're going to have to address it. Like, it's not something that we can put off any further. Two citywide meetings will be held on November 14th and 16th. Five smaller gatherings will follow, one in each city council district. The topics will include race relations, education, and affordable housing. These are important discussions that will enlist the help of all who participate to begin to identify meaningful and achievable solutions to challenges facing our community. Paul Ingram owns Paul's Barbershop. He hosted a similar event last month with Raleigh Police. Ingram says law enforcement officers need to do a better job of knowing certain areas. But if you at least get to know your local business, your small businesses in those areas, you'll get to know the community because the community is normally behind the small business and they know the people in the area. So who better would you want to deal with if you know the small business people and then the small business people know the community, they can introduce you into the community. In Raleigh, David Grzbowski, CBS, North Carolina.